Ken Cooper says he visited his friend John Romano in the hospital a few days after he was slashed. The attack, leaving Romano with severe injuries to his extremities. I didn't expect what I saw. And I mean, he's basically, you know, he, he, he's inoperable. I mean, he can't even, he's not able to get out of bed. He can't move his arms or legs. Cooper says the attack happened as Romano was trying to start life anew, to be a positive influence by volunteering at an Albany food pantry. Basically, somebody coming off the street. Hey, I need some clothes. Hey, I need a shower. Hey, I need some food. And John would help them get through that situation. A man who was inside the building and allegedly went after John Romano with the sword is now charged with attempted first degree murder. What did you think when you walked into his hospital room and you saw him? His first words to me, which was stunning to me, was that he was worried about the guy that caused harm to him, really? that when he gets out for, from whatever happens to him, that John was almost to the point where, you know, maybe I can help him. Cooper says the horrific incident inside the food pantry was unprovoked and had nothing to do with the 2004 shooting at Columbia High School, when the then teenage Romano's plans for a mass shooting were thwarted when he was tackled by a staff member. He served 15 years in prison. Romano and Cooper became friends when the former sheriff's deputy, now head of security at Mechanicville Schools, asked Romano to speak with law enforcement and school staff to help them better identify troubled youth by offering up his own insight into the mind of a wannabe shooter. I quietly slipped through the cracks. I'm not taking anything about what happened in 2004 at Columbia. That was horrific also what John did. But again, he turned his life around and now what happens to him Again, donating his time to, to help other people, and he becomes a victim. And it, it's horrific. Cooper says his friend has endured several surgeries, yet Romano told him that he remains committed to one day helping others again after he recovers. Anya Tucker, News 10, ABC.